Okay, Mega World team, welcome back to the channel, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another Bitcoin update. We're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin on the shorter time frame again today, discussing the horizontal range, which you see on the screen over here between those two red lines. So we have a few ranges playing out at the moment on Bitcoin. We have the range between the green lines and the broader range extending between the red lines. We also have our downward sloping uh, descending channel, which is our bullish structure. Obviously a downtrend, but it is a bullish structure as we expect a reversal. And of course, we had a breakdown of our small time frame ascending channel from yesterday. So we'll quickly bring up Telegram, guys. If you did follow the trade signal yesterday, which we did talk about on Telegram and we talked about on YouTube, it would have been this over here. You would have got a nice breakdown entry upon that breakdown as discussed and planned in the previous video for a nice 300% profit if you used a 100% leverage, which we did, which was absolutely huge, guys. Congratulations to everyone followed. Of course, click the link, first link down below, join the Telegram, get updates, analysis, information, news events, videos, tips and tricks, and a whole range more information. If you do wanna access all our trade signals, you do have to join our VIP channel. We post all of our trade signals in the main VIP channel with exclusive updates. We also have a VIP scalp trading channel where I post a lot of my own scalp trades, uh, we have a few members posting scalp trades. This is a big old discussion of trading. Again, you do have to be a VIP member to get access to that. You can find more information in this message over here. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first and foremost, huge breakdown from yesterday's ascending channel. Let's talk about that. Let's go talk about yesterday. We'll come and bring it forward and look at the chart in a little bit of a plan. So we had this huge breakdown from this channel yesterday, obviously a rising channel, very bearish structure. We do expect a breakdown and we caught that breakdown. We saw a very strong move downwards into or a little bit deeper than this massive support region. And this support region here was around like, around 18,700 to 18,800, give or take a little bit. Um, and we did find a little bit of support in there, but we actually dropped underneath that support uh, temporarily before finding that support eventually, pushing back upwards and actually pushing out of that macro or our larger time frame descending channel. So congratulations that we got into that. And we did say yesterday, we do expect a bounce from that level outward or a bounce from this level outwards, but a push above this channel was inevitable. What is happening now though? This is quite interesting. Look at what's happening on the chart. We saw a strong push right out of this channel, which is really bullish, which is great to see. And then we saw a lot of selling pressure and this price really struggling. It really struggled to actually go anywhere from there. Even though we broke out, we had that momentum, we just struggled a lot to push upwards. And we're gonna talk about that one today in a bit. We'll dive into that in a second. Um, but it's very interesting to note, guys, that you know these macro descending channels, they can have fake outs. They're not immune to fake outs. Every market structure, every pattern is uh, you know, prone to fake outs. What I like to do over here is I like to look at the zones and the channels when we go ahead and do this. So what is our trigger zone to confirm the breakout over this descending channel? Well, we're looking for these local highs. So we're looking to clear, and we can actually extend that level outwards. If I go ahead and do this, if we can extend it outwards. We can see over here, resistance, 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 a lot of resistance. So we're actually looking to clear that 19,500-ish level to actually trigger that move outwards. Of course, looking for longs above this level with very tight stop losses, you know, around 19,000 is an ideal decision. It is a good risk return ratio. It is massive upside to a very small downside risk. And at the end of the day, trading is all about risk management and taking educated and logical risks. That's how you make profit. So right now, we're not looking too long. We're looking for a break back over. If we do break over, however, this time around, I'd be waiting for a break above this level. A break above this level would be ideal to look for longs. It should push us up to this resistance. And of course, this upper resistance is in fact that major trigger that will completely reverse this pattern. If we take a look at this resistance level, we do have resistance along this level here. We have resistance and support along that level there. So we have two zones. We have like a horizontal range occurring here. And then we have these blow off tops and massive cells occurring at the lower end of this range. So we have a, a pretty big horizontal channel playing out. And this horizontal channel is a large one. You know, we're looking at a nearly 8% uh, range on this channel, which is quite significant for horizontal channels on Bitcoin, but it is going to be very telling to where the price is going to go. If we do break above here, this is a very strong signal, guys. We're taking big longs. We're looking for, you know, a retest of this upper trend line, and that's a significant push from there to there. That's nearly a 10% move. And of course, if we do break to that downside, you know, clearing these lower levels, we do expect that push 
all the way back down to 17,600. Of course, again, guys, a 4% move, some pretty big moves for Bitcoin coming in the next few days when this, actually, when this horizontal level, uh, this horizontal channel decides where it wants to go. So keep an eye on that, guys. That's really the most important thing I wanted to talk about today on terms of the chart. This horizontal range we are currently sitting in, this expanded horizontal range, is something that is going to be a, 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 a range that you can really abuse in, in terms of taking profits and making profit because it's very obvious exactly where the price is going to find support. It's very obvious exactly where our invalidations are for our trades. And it's very obvious exactly where our validations are for our trades. We have them perfectly lined up and I recommend you know, screenshotting this or writing it down your own chart and just putting little notes or annotate, annotate those levels. You know, over here, for example, you know, open short, you know, hourly close below red line, you know, one hour, you know, that's going to be open short or something like that. You know, then you have on the flip side, you know, one hour close above the red line at the top, open long. I mean, you take small long, you know, small short below here, small short uh, long above here, and you're adding to those levels at these price points, at these price points. Obviously, it will continue with the trend. Um, so pretty interesting, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the smaller time frame just to see what is actually happening on this short-term crash, because we have had a short-term crash down, and very interesting enough, we are trying to tackle 19,000 again. It looks like we're we're coming down, we're finding a bit of a buffering zone, we're trying to tackle 19,000. I don't think that this move downwards is gonna be sustained. I think this breakout downwards from here, back down, or this break upwards and back down, is more bullish than I would say bearish, um, I think we still push upwards. We are forming some sort of weak falling wedge. And the reason I say it's a weak falling wedge <clears throat> is because the concave or the, um, how can I say it, the pinching of the trend lines is actually happening at quite a weak angle. So generally, we're more aggressive these angles and more aggressive these wedges. This is quite a weaker wedge. We expect a weaker breakout. But nevertheless, guys, the breakout target for this would take us well over this green line and potentially pushing up to red line. Obviously, if you know measured moves, first target is still looking 19,500. Where is the trigger to entry? Well, the trigger to entry coincidentally lines up with the breakout over here, because that will break out of that downward sloping trend line over here, over here, as well as that macro downward sloping trend line. That is a good trade. I'm looking at something like that for a scalp. I think the short term is looking more bullish than bearish. Of course, we have a lot of support below us. We're in a massive support block. Not only are we in a massive support block, this entire gray area is a support block, but we have these horizontal supports below us. We have these diagonal supports now developing below us. And, you know, we could even draw some more diagonal levels in over here. We have more diagonal levels. And of course, we have some horizontal triggers and base support. So it's looking pretty good here, guys. Um, I would be cautious taking big longs here. I'd be looking a little bit more bullish on the short term. Of course, the big longs will occur you know, when we break down from this level here, that is when I think we 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 kind of nosedive it downwards. Anyway, Bitcoin dominance is kind of doing exactly what we said. We said we'll see some kind of push downwards, maybe see some sort of bounce and then continue down. That is quite likely to occur. Uh, old coins should see a nice rally upwards if Bitcoin dominance can drop and the total cryptocurrency market can increase with Bitcoin's price. Uh, we should see old coins rally a little bit but a lot of old coins are looking pretty optimistic right now in some pretty significant spots retesting some lows potential bounce points or potential points of further collapse time will tell total crypto consumer market cap hitting around 900 billion dollars uh not quite at that trillion dollar mark struggling a little bit over here long-legged doji candle not too good a lot of resistance above us over here again trigger points acting as resistances these triggers over here, you can see how much resistance. You have five points of resistance and support. Again, rejection. This is our trigger, guys, for that move upwards. We talked about it yesterday. The, cabot, the cra crash will occur again if we lose this level. What level that will that correspond with Bitcoin? That level should correspond Bitcoin to around 18,300, which would trigger the crash down to that new low or that bottom, which was 17,600, 17,500. Brave new coin liquid index, nothing too shabby here. Weekly chart is still looking okay. Uh, obviously, in terms of where the candles are, it's looking awful. In terms of where the momentum is, it is looking like it's holding us ground for now at least. We don't have significant downward momentum right now. We don't have significant upward momentum right now. We're very much pushing sideways. The RSI is indicating nothing too dangerous, nothing that we're worried too much about. We haven't lost 32.60 
on the RSI yet. So that is something to be happy about. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Remember, head down, click the link, join our Telegram. I won't be here tomorrow. It's my anniversary tomorrow, uh, my third year anniversary with my amazing partner. Uh, so I'll be taking the day off, uh, but I'll catch you guys the day after and uh, have a good one. So, okay guys, we're gonna be taking a quick look at BitGet and now BitGet is where I personally trade. I highly recommend signing up to BitGet with the link down below. BitGet is probably the best exchange out there if you are a trader. It has a variety of features and the best things about BitGet are a few things. Number one, it's non-KYC. Well, KYC is completely optional in BitGet. Now, there's a whole variety of exchanges out there nowadays that have gone completely centralized, sharing your personal trading information and information of decentralized uh, governments and different governing bodies. BitGet allows that option to be left to the individual, to the user of the exchange. You can decide to non-KYC, you can decide to KYC. It's completely your choice. Another really beneficial thing about BitGet and the biggest reasons why I, I'm sitting here actually recommending BitGet to all my, all my followers is that it has 0.02% trading fees, all right? This is significantly lower than any other cryptocurrency trading exchange out there. FTX, Binance, could name a bunch more, KuCoin. It is significantly lower, by 500% lower than the lowest exchange out there, Binance. Um, another big thing, guys, is there's no global restrictions on who can use BitGet. Anyone from anywhere can sign up to BitGet and get access to the entire exchange of all the tools, whether it be futures or spot. No matter which country you're in, you can use futures and spot. If you're in America, for say, and you want to get access to more spot trading pairs, such as Binance Global, and you can't sign up, well, guess what? They've got 250 different spot trading pairs here on BitGet to get access to, and you can get access to all of these. If you're in Australia and you want to access the futures market and you can't trade futures, you can do it here on BitGet. You can get access to the future market and start trading with leverage. And finally, guys, if you do want to sign up to BitGet, go ahead, click that link down below to sign up to BitGet and you'll get access to the reward center over here, which enables up to $4,000 in rewards by completing five tasks. All right, guys, we'll get back to the video. Thanks for listening to that. Okay, guys, I want to take a quick moment to introduce the Become a Trader course at the end of this video. This course was designed by myself and Wolves of Crypto. We put together a whole variety of knowledge to create the most cohesive, understandable, and beneficial trading course there is on the market. If you're interested in learning how to become a trader, if you're interested in learning how to use technical analysis, if you're interested in learning how to apply market analysis to different cryptocurrencies, this is a course for you. We teach you everything from the fundamentals, the basics about what cryptocurrency is, how to trade cryptocurrency, mastering the craft of cryptocurrency, diving into a whole range of technical indicators, market structures, and teaching you how to utilize these when finding trades and applying risk management strategies to become more profitable over time. We even dive into market psychology, human psychology, and provide a variety of different videos and educational content, including courses and quizzes to assist your learning along the way. If this is something you're interested in, guys, go ahead and contact us down below at the Crypto Academy Courses at gmail.com. We'll send you an email back with all the course information, the structure, the payment details, and everything else you need to know. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and we'll catch you in the next one.